ice. Good ice. So just wake it up until I can go. So what's up, y'all? It is the night before surgery, and I had to get some come to the store to get some stool softener. I'm not too familiar with this one. And something else I have to get. He put three things. Oh, gas, gas X. Cause I guess when they blow up your stomach, those cookies look good. And why I come in here while I'm hungry? See, that's a problem right there. Hungry y'all. And I'm trying to eat before 12 o'clock. So I have a 12 o'clock window. I'm looking at my missing side too. Okay, don't look at that. So, I'm looking for some bread. I'm hungry. Oh man, thank you. The, um, the bakery. Yeah, but I don't see no bread. I'm, I need a sandwich. I try to get pizza, but I guess the little season's closed early. I see bread over there. Why don't I got the bread out here? What's going on? I see it back there. I'm gonna walk back there and get some bread. A minute. Maybe it's down here. So, I really came to get that. I need to wash my clothes. I need something to eat. I ate earlier, but I'm hungry now. And I only have a few more minutes to eat. <laughs> They were jamming with the music. I didn't hear it in the beginning. See, it's terrible. Terrible when you go to the store and you hungry. And knowing I only got a few minutes left. It's just when you eat on the road, okay? They had these chips. You know, chips is my weakness. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry. I went to the store hungry. So I got a few things. I didn't get too much. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. For those of you who don't know, I live in Texas, right? And we lost power. So we lost all our food. And I had some French onion dip in the fridge, but we had to throw it out. We were able to salvage some of our frozen goods because we weren't without power as long as other parts of the city mm. I just need a few bites to make it I'm, I'm about to make a sandwich up in this car 
I got 60 minutes. I got 60 minutes before I turn into a pumpkin. He walking off slow to the store. Listen, they closing in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Walking slow. Look at his phone. They don't stay up in the 12, mister. They're about to close. Walking like we got all day. Maybe he just picking up a pack of cigarettes or something. Cause he walking real slow. Mm -hmm. That's how you know he ain't hungry. <laughs> All right. This is enough to get me going. Mm-hmm. I was trying to find pretzels, but I couldn't find pretzels. I love French onion dip and pretzels. And that's what I used to take to the movies with me. Some dip and some pretzel sticks. Bomb movie snack. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just need some hot sauce. I think the daisy one is better. It is what it is. Quick snack. <laughs> and I got some cheap cookies, okay? I remember eating these in New York. And Bobby doesn't eat cookies. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on cookies. I just hungry. And I remember these from way, way, way back in the day. Let me see if they still giving what they used to give. And if it's not crunchy, then I don't want it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boy, this brings back memories. Isn't it amazing how we make a connection with food and memories and taste and stuff? Back in the day, a coconut and it's crunchy. When people bake little cookies and stuff, I'm mm -mm, burn mine. I like my cookies crunchy. The only cookie I like soft is a uh, um, oatmeal raisin. All right, y'all. I got I got about seventy minutes. To eat a quick sandwich. All right. I'll call you back. Call you back later. Bye. Mister, they closing in seven minutes. You walking slow too. Mm -hmm. You look hungry though. You better walk faster, sir. Mm -hmm. You walking with a purpose. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me get out of here. Stop being nosy. I'm all nosy. Oh, my glass. I like my glasses at nighttime. Well, today is surgery day. Bobby is taking me to the hospital. But, baby, you know how I was being greedy last night? I don't know what it was because I had to take one of the prescriptions last night. So, you know, I was eating the chips and the dip, the cookies, and then I made a sandwich. I don't know. And then I got chills and the medicine they want me to take, I, I guess it's a very, very strong pain medicine. But I was like, that medicine didn't work that fast. Maybe I got sick. I was like, I don't know. I may have to cancel this appointment. I said, Bobby, I don't know. I just was not feeling well. And then, you know how you get a warning before you throw up. Sorry, this if you eat, you, you can skip this part. You get a warning. And baby, I felt my mouth getting watery. But I was like, if I move, it's going to 
upset my stomach. <laughs> I was trying to do because I don't throw it very often. And baby, I felt it and I was like, and I was I was lying in Bobby's bed because we were washing clothes. They want they want your sheets clean, they want everything clean. I had to wash with special soap and blah blah blah. And so we were waiting for the laundry and I just had chills. I don't I was like, ooh. Am I, is this a flu? Is this a bug? What is it? I said, I'm going to have to cancel this appointment. And baby. <laughs> Why, Bobby? I have never seen it. <laughs> what happened, Bobby? It was like what you see in the movies. Of like projectile. <laughs> Yankee tile. It was, it was crazy. That was crazy. And I was like, sorry, Mr. y'all. <laughs> and it just was like, whoa! It was like a, it was like a water fountain, like an arc. It, you know, it was like a movie. I have never in my life done that before. All over the floor. I tried to run with my hand. It just was like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, Bobby, I'm so sorry. It was everywhere, splattered on her shoes, everywhere. But it didn't smell though, right? It didn't. it was all all that food I ingested in trying to make it to 12 o'clock well baby all that food gone gone all that mess I don't gotta worry about nothing and then I had taken um, a cleanser pill was this Friday Wednesday I took it Wednesday night yeah I took it Wednesday night and so that makes you go to the restroom because they said they want you to make sure you have a bowel movement and I was like I don't know if it's, if it's that so I wasn't sure if it was going to come out the front, come out the bottom. I just was not feeling well. But today I feel better. And I thought it was the medicine that I took last night. So I don't know. I was afraid to take it this morning. They said I had to take one this morning. So it's been an adventure so far. All right, y'all. Try to keep me posted. Mm. Mm. <laughs> And I guess my phone wasn't charged all the way. I was delirious last night. But look at this. All the um the sofas have USB. That's nice. Don't smell like roaches or nothing. That's nice. And they just built this hospital. I'm thirsty. Ugh. I'm gonna be scary. And on um, the day of surgery paperwork, they were like, do not wear fake eyelashes or hold the list. Do not shave, which I did. You know, cause they can be looking, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I wasn't thinking. I've read the stuff on the way to the hospital. I got here a little early because Bobby has a little function. So they just make sure they have her number and stuff and she'll be back. She's like, you want me to cancel? I said, no, just go. So we just hugged for a long time. I was hugging her as I was checking in. And I was like, this is a big baby, huh? <laughs> they stopped laughing. <laughs> I wish I had brought my computer or something. So I didn't, I didn't know what to say, but I do have a book. I have this book. I don't know if any, seems interesting. 
and I just finished my audio book. And then I ordered this. I started drawing again, and I will show you guys that. When it's done, so I had a challenge for myself. So I guess I'll just sit here and wait. What's in my bag? Let's see what's in Basil's bag. I ordered, a, I had a gift card, so I ordered an electric eraser. But I need AAA batteries, which I don't have yet, so. But it's so cool, it's an electric eraser, because I have been drawing. I don't do it as often as I would like. I really should have brought my computer. So when you go to the bathroom, I had this from the hospital, like older. I guess I guess I won't be needing these anymore. <laughs> and I got these, which is um, 4B lead, but it's specifically, well, it's for drawing. I think it's, I don't know, it was recommended to get this. I got this, I have my little lip stuff in here, the hotel car key, and a whole bunch of color pencils and markers and stuff for when I want to draw or doodle. I call them my doodles y'all. <coughs> and my tripod and glasses. There's a mess in here. Don't be judging me. All right, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait. This is nice. It's real nice. They just, did I say that already? They just built this hospital. So I'm not sure how long it's been open. But my surgery is at 11. <clears throat> it's at 11 and it is, oh, I don't even wear my watch. It's around 8.20 right now. So I'm just, I don't mind sitting and wait. I've learned patience. It doesn't bother me at all. Even traffic doesn't bother me. And if you're in traffic, it's not anything that I can control anyway. So what I'm gonna get upset? That's like wasted energy. So I don't understand why people get upset because it's not you can control. Why are you getting upset? Is it gonna change anything? You expend all that energy for what? All right, y'all. I'm gonna call you back later. I'm gonna call you back. Bye, y'all. I can control the heat. That's pretty cool. I never experienced that. So I'm not cold in here. I can't see. And it made me take my undies off. I did not go to the bathroom. 9 30, 10 30. But I have to wait an hour and a half before it's time. But I'll make sure I go to the restroom before I go. I got a baby headache. They made me take some other. They made me take some other medicine for my um bladder, and she said it'll turn up be orange. I don't know. She said it's for something after surgery. I don't know. And of course, she signed your life away. So now I just sit in here and wait, wait and wait. 
All right, so I guess the next time I check in, it'll be after. But this is cute. The cord is just this. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Check in with you later. Hello. I'm taking over the vlog. Um, I just, they just let me back so I could say hello. Um, they told me that she is doing okay. Everything went well. She's already asking for ice <laughs> and I'm giving her ice. So I think things are okay. <laughs> um, yeah, they said everything, everything is good. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, she said she's just tired and groggy. Um, and she, yeah. She's just tired. You're feeling okay though? She said she's feeling good. You want to say hello? I felt grabbing my throat. I just want ice. I guess that hasn't changed yet. <laughs> Hospitals always have a good ice. Good ice. I don't remember anything. Yeah, it is. Thomas. Right now, it is 4.07. Just remember, it was after 12. Mm -hmm. It was after 12, but right now, I'm still fine. I don't feel any pain at the moment. And I think they left the ovaries. Oh, they did? I think so. I feel like they would have told you if they didn't. I think they left the ovaries. I can shower, no baths. And just waiting for the, um, what is this? Don't touch stuff. What is it? Like a wrap? something between my legs. There is a little <laughs> Oh, there's a pad down there. Mm. Just waking up. So far, so good. <clears throat> my throat is a little sore, but not bad. I still. You and your ice. <laughs> I still have good ice. Good ice. So just wake it up until I can go. Yeah, they said she can do everything as normal outside of she can't lift for a while anything over like about the weight of a gallon of a, a gallon of milk um no driving for two weeks um yeah like she said no baths mm. and pretty much they put her on like a tolerated um like movement based Thing. so like just as much as she can or about that but yes <laughs> we will check back in in a little bit so update it's been now it's um 
It's 4.30. We, she's out of ice. <laughs> um, but, so while we, so while I was waiting, because I, I don't like the noises. Um, I had a conflicting, like, schedule thing today so all week I've been volunteering at like working a leadership academy don't look at my nails I know <laughs> I've been volunteering working a leadership academy and the last day was today but I also got invited to go to this like big luncheon for the city of Conroe where like they honor um like women in the city and it was like a really really nice big event but it was at the same time as her surgery, so I told her that I wasn't gonna go. Like, it wasn't a big deal that I missed today. Like, I wouldn't have to do too much anyways. And so I was like, I'm not gonna go, but she insisted and would not let me stay. Um, and she wanted me to go to the event and like to the last day of the, um, like the thing I was volunteering for. Um, Cause she just didn't want me sitting around and waiting um but so the timing worked out really well though because so the whole time they were like texting me like everything that was happening um hold on <laughs> she, the nurse just came in and she's like do y'all have like big because this is the cup that she got for her eyes it's like real tiny <laughs> she was like do y'all have big cups big cups <laughs> So I went to the event. I came with her this morning and like the timing was good because she had to be here before I had to be at the event today. So I came with her this morning. Sorry, I thought something was on my chin. Anyways, I came with her this morning about probably like 15 minutes after I left. They sent me like an automated message saying that, um, they should be sending me like messages soon about everything and so they texted me they texted me at 9 30 is when the, she started like her pre-op stuff um and so they texted me when that and then they told me like when she was in the operating room when her procedure began and then that took like I got the text that the procedure had begun at one, at one, and they texted me around two and told me that, um, that like she's still in surgery and everything's going good. And then they told me whenever she was in the recovery area, but I couldn't come back here yet. Um, <clears throat> and then they texted me telling me she's waking up and doing well. And at this point, then they called me and were like, she's out of surgery, like, she's doing great, she's not complaining of any pain. This stage will probably take the longest of, from her getting from, like, the recovery area, I guess, and then getting to, um, like, discharge, the discharge area, like, where I can come back. But they called me, like, she called me then and then called me, like, 20 minutes later. She was like, it should probably take about an hour. And I was like, okay. What you hear at this time? whenever she, I was at Starbucks mm -hmm. and then I came here. So she had called me when I was at Starbucks and then- So the timing was great. Yeah, like the timing worked out. I had got, I was getting all of the text while I was at the event. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, as soon as she was out of surgery, I was getting back from, cause so it was mama, like- So mama was right. <laughs> so <laughs> she- So mama was right. There was no need for her to just sit here. But- for Hours and hours. From the support, she knew I was here. No, I wanted you to still do your event because I knew you would just be sitting around when you could be at your event. I didn't want you to miss that. Yeah, so I went to the event, but like she said, the timing worked out perfect. Whenever she was getting out of surgery, I was already like back down because my event was like 40 minutes away. 30 40 minutes away um but i think it's really cool that they have like the texting thing where they text you like at every step and like if a text is taking like too long they always text like that like reassurance like everything's going fine like 
basically like don't worry like we haven't texted in a while but like everything's going okay and the, like they like text and they call you as well so that was really nice and so as soon as she was getting out of surgery like i made it back and i was just waiting till i could come up here and so it worked out um perfect and now we're here waiting for her a big cup of ice <laughs> yes that is how she knows she's okay. I had came in here and there was a cup with a spoon on my bed. I was like, what is that? <laughs> and were you just eating ice like cereal? Mm -hmm. Or was somebody giving it to you? No. She was in here eating ice like cereal before, probably like right when she got out of surgery, she was asking for ice mostly. <laughs> well, they asked me if I wanted water and I just said I wanted ice. You need to drink some water though. That is water. No, it's not the same thing. So whenever she comes back, I'm gonna get her water. No, I don't want water. You haven't ice turns into water. You haven't drank water since yesterday. And you threw it all up so it doesn't even matter. You need to drink some water. I don't want water. I just want ice. She, that's all she's been saying. I just want ice. I just want ice. I just want ice. Um, but yeah, so we're just waiting. So now, so now I just, I feel, it's not pain. It feels like on a scale of one to 10, they have a wrap around my waist. On a scale of one to 10, it's like, it's like at a two and it feels like baby cramp, like lower abdominal cramp, but I, could imagine when all the medicine wears off. It's gonna kick, kick butt. But right now it's just lower abdominal cramp. Yeah, they have, hopefully it's not too bad and the medicine works. She got a bunch of stuff and they have like a, like a mock, like pain med schedule, like take this one at, 0700, whatever time it is, minus 12. Oh, they gave you a pain schedule? It's on the paper you sent us. Oh. Um, what is 0700? Great. Yeah, so they have her on a like pain management schedule. There was one that like they created in there. Hey guys, I was just released. We're going to Cafe Express to get something to eat just pick up something to go because I want to hurry to get I want to hurry to get my I want to hurry to get some pain meds so right now the pain is like a two and so I already started playing in the hospital so I know I know I'm on them in well, <laughs> until the pain pills until the pain meds wear off anesthesia is not it has a one all the way off so I just ordered soup I'm not in the mood for food so I haven't eaten anything and then I threw up whatever I ate yesterday and it's six o'clock so it's not hungry and I just felt like soup would be good in fact I got some tomato soup and I think I get like sharp pain here and there but I think it's gas when it's like a gas bubble and they said that's probably the most pain that I experienced is from the gas. So I don't know. So, and then I have like a, um, what do you call this? I have a wrap around my stomach. You know, snatch me in, hold on, you okay? I got a fu, fu, a fu ha, fu, fu ha. I got a fu ha, honey, you okay? <laughs> and so I just wanna get back to the hotel and lie down. <laughs> so I don't know if that will ever go away. So um, I'm gonna sit here and wait for Bobby, and while she get out food, and I'll have my soup uh, when we get to the hotel, and I'll start the payment. She said, because they got they have a routine 
for me. So I'll start the routine, she said, at least for 48 hours. So once that pain starts, you don't want it to spike and then you're trying to get it down. So you wanna stay on top of the pain meds uh, with the schedule. So that's what I'll do. So I'm ready to get to hotel. I wish I brought them with me, but I'm okay at the moment. I just get the um, a, an occasional sharp pain, but I think it's gas. Yeah, I think it's like a gas bubble because they blew my stomach up. Okay, so I'm gonna sit here and wait for Bobby while she gets out food. I went in and ordered, but I was just like, okay, let me go back and take my butt and sit my butt down, shall trying to act like I just had like a, a, a regular appointment. No, you didn't, girl. Sit down. <laughs> but I'm okay. Everything went well. Um, they left the ovaries. They did leave my ovaries, but they took everything else, the fallopian tubes, um, everything else they took, but they did leave the ovaries because I had a double check. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> there's a little bleeding, just like spotting, it's not a lot of bleeding and they said that I'll have that for um, a couple of days. So I'm wearing a pad and bleeding not bad, but they gave me some medicine for my uterus, they said. And of course I couldn't leave until I had to pee. And so I was eating ice. I was like, okay, I have to go to the bathroom now. And it is bright, bright, like a bright orangey yellow color. And they said that it will turn. She said, don't get worried. It'll turn your, your pee a different color. It was two brown little pills I had to take. Okay, so mother is resting right now. Um, she's trying to do too much, actually. Matter of fact, I'm trying to set up the medication. So right now I have a schedule on the um, vent hood with a checklist for all the times that need to be done. But I also created it on her phone for when I have to leave, she will have it on her phone sending her, sending her reminders that will come through. And so this is what it looks like on the health app it allows you to add your medications in as like a timer, like a reminder. So you can add all of them in like so. So these are all the ones like at 8 a.m. She has to take all of these and then so on. So she'll get a reminder on her phone and then she'll check off whether she took it or not. And you just enter in all of the ones. You can make them colors and match them to what they actually look like. Um, and then set the days and times you need to take them and then like the specifications of them all like how many milligrams is in each one and blah blah, blah and so on so that's what we're working with right now she's on a schedule of taking different ones every two hours and like a rotating so she takes one two three four and then back to one two three four and then so on so on so we're trying to see tonight how it's gonna be because there's one specific pain medication that's stronger so she doesn't know if she wants to take that now well did you take it well never mind she took it so we're trying to see how it'll be through the night as well because if she'll be able to sleep through the night or still have to wake up every two hours huh we're doing pain management because we don't she said it's been at like a one and a half right now out of ten so that's good we're trying to stay ahead of it because they said once you get behind and try to catch up it's just not fun so we're staying on the consistent every two hours probably for the first few days until you can start to like maybe pull back on the tramadol um, because they said the tramadol this one particular pill is the it's like a, the strongest and they said to only take it if the others aren't working so hopefully in like a few days she'll be able to not use that one and then focus on like the because they're they prescribe like ibuprofen and tylenol like over-the-counter stuff so yeah i'm not a doctor but i was reading and this is the, this is the schedule we've created here so you have to check them off mom throughout the day 
Okay. Hello? Huh? You have to check them off throughout the day. Oh. Okay. So you remember. Because it gets confusing if you're like, wait, which one did I just take? Was it the GABA GABA or was it the ibuprofen? I don't remember. Wait, last night? Go ahead and take that. Huh? No, like if you're trying to remember. So you have to check them off. Don't play with me. I'm actually gonna put them up here so you can write. Can you see above this thing? Oh, 